So welcome to today's Hatha class. We are going to work the whole body as we usually do, warming up. And then we're gonna space, um, do some extra attention to ankles and feet today. So we walk on our feet all the time. We exercise a lot of body parts, but we don't always exercise your feet and ankles. And uh, since we're walking a lot in shoes, we don't always, uh, the dexterity of your feet may not be 100%. So it's really good to, to do some exercise there. And as we know, when we get older, it's e really easy to uh, lose your balance and fall. So strong feet and ankles really help. And also if your feet and toes and ankles don't have full range of motion, you usually overcompensate. So you maybe you use your calves more and then the other parts get weaker. Something to think about. We are also gonna do some eye exercises later on towards the end of the class. As always, do what you can. Listen to your body. If you need to adjust, do so. And important, have fun. So if you have a blanket or so, you can sit on it. Always want that forward tilt with your hips so you're not rounding your back. It's easier to breathe. And do you have a long, straight spine? And if it's comfortable, you can close your eyes, roll your shoulders forward, up and back, maybe one more time. And then just root down through your sitting bones. Starting to breathe in and out through your nose. And ask yourself, how do I feel today? Just see what answer comes to you. Don't make it into a big story. Just observe. And concentrate on your breath. Follow your breath all the way from the bottom of the spine. All the way up. If you can follow it, imagine it's coming through the crown of your head. And then exhale all the way down. Continue like this on your own. If your mind starts wandering, just gently bring it back to your breath. Over and over. like this or if you want to do some breathing exercise we're starting with ujjayi breath restricting the back of your throat sound like the ocean very calming breath use it throughout the practice if you want or in any specific poses Jai breath, it's a smooth, steady breath. Don't strain. Three more breaths wherever you are. And if you want to set an intention for your practice, please do so now. Slowly open your eyes, extending your legs out, but feet are hip width apart. Have your hands behind you, and then draw circles with your ankles. Go on your own pace if you want to go slow, faster. Also engage your core muscles.
start this other direction. And then point your toes, flex your feet, get back and forth, warming up. One more time. Bend your right knee and take your right foot here. I'll show from here. So we're starting with some massage of your foot. So towards the heel. And then move to the arch. This is good you can do this at home. If you have more time to sit for a longer time, but I just want to give you a feel of it at least. And then the ball of the foot, both hands, thumbs, whatever works for you. Tap it out. Moving on to the toes. So you could take your fingers in between your toes or not. Just circulating your toes here. Flex your toes back here. And then the front of your foot, same thing. Give some massage. And your ankle. Switch. Foot, same thing. Start from the bottom. Heel. To the arch. Really relax the foot when you do this. And the ball. Tap it up. Moving on to the toes. Whatever you did on the other side. maybe and then hold top of the foot and ankle so hopefully you're a little bit more warm in this area of your body now coming over tabletop so place your knees closer, so not hip width apart. Take your left arm to the upper arm, just open the front here, and engage your core. From here, extend your right leg behind you, hips are squared to the floor. Inhale and exhale, round the knee, come forward. Inhale, extend, exhale. And of course, if this is too much, Place your left hand on the floor. Move with your breath. Maybe the Ujjayi breath again. Extend the leg and hold. Both hands to the floor. Flex your right foot. And place your toes on the floor. And then you can go back and forth a little bit and then press back and breathe knees to the floor about hip width apart right arm up inhale and exhale right shoulder on the floor threading the needle pressing the left hand into the floor Final twist.
Inhale, come all the way up. Right leg comes up. So your foot is aligned with the knee here. Left arm up. Inhale and exhale. Lean over to your right side. Opening up the rib cage here on the left side. And breathe. Same thing, other side. Tabletop, knees together. They don't have to be all the way together, but a little um, closer than the hips. Usually give you more balance. This time, right hand, upper arm here. Extend your left leg, engage your core. Inhale and exhale, round. Inhale, extend, exhale, round. Same thing, if it's too much, place both hands on the floor and stay. One more. Both hands to the floor. Flex your back foot and toes tight. Moving back and forth again. And then hold it and, and press your left heel back. Touching the back of your left leg. Inhale, exhale. Knees hip width apart. This time, left arm comes up. Inhale and exhale. Thread the right side. And breathe. Come up, gate pose again. Left foot out, the whole foot on the floor here, all four corners. Right arm up and lean over to the left side. You can look up or if the neck hurts, uh, tuck your chin slightly. Inhale and exhale. Sitting down. The tops of the feet to the floor here. Then grab a hold of your right knee. If you don't reach all the way, you can use uh, grab your thigh. Engage your core muscles too. And then slow movement up and down here with your right leg. Probably feel this in the ankle. So never overdo anything here today. Just find your edge. Pain. And then come to stillness, pressing your hips in towards the body here. Now let's switch. Left leg, same thing. I know for some of you this may be really easy and for others it may be not so nice. So be gentle to yourself. Everything else, the more you do it, it's easier it gets. And then hold it again. Awesome. Coming to the first down dog of the day. So hands, shoulder width apart, spread your fingers. Knees hip width apart. Tuck your toes and hips up. Right heel to the floor, bend your left knee. And the opposite. You can just walk one heel into the floor at a time. Hip sway from side to side. Relax your head. Relax your jaw. Come to stillness in down dog. Your shoulders away from your ears. Press all ten fingers into the floor. Engage your core. So if your heels don't come to the floor, don't worry about it. You can just bend your knees here. 
and then walk your hands back to your feet. Head is relaxed. Have your knees slightly bent. And then slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms overhead, palms together. And from here, grab a hold of your left ankle, uh, wrist, I mean. Feet tip it apart. Inhale and exhale and twist or lean over. Not twist, lean over to your right side. Press both feet into the floor. Breathe. Maybe go a little deeper. Inhale up. Switch. Inhale and exhale. And this time left side. Inhale up. Hands to your sacrum. Shoulder blades together. Feet hip width apart. Inhale and exhale. Send your hips forward. Comfortable. Your head can come back. Check in with your breath. Feel smooth and steady here. And slowly come up. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, come down. Walk your hands all the way towards your plank. Engage your core. Shoulders will be wrists here. Hold it. Not too much knees on the floor. Let's stay here for a few more breaths. Arms, wrists, core. Bend your elbows back and come all the way down. Hands wider than the mat and fingertips on the floor. Shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your chin. Inhale, come up. Cobra variation. Exhale down. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do two more. And next time you're up, stay here and breathe. Tops of the feet, press into the floor. And all the way down. Right arm on the floor. Turn to the left. And left hip comes up. Left foot behind you. Stretching the shoulder here. Breathe. And come down, switch other side. Left arm on the floor. And take your right leg behind you. And the shoulder. You feel that in your hip too. Or somewhere else. And come down. Tuck your toes. Plank. Down dog. Let's take three breaths here. Look forward, up on your toes, bend your knees, and walk all the way to the front. Feet hip width, or a little bit more narrow. From here, come to your toes, fingers on the floor, look up. Inhale and exhale, heels to the floor. Your knees are bent, and you're just rolling back and forth, heels. Toes. And then stay on your heels. You can bend your knees a little to start with. If that's enough. Stay there or see if you can straighten your legs. And then move your hands a little forward. Up on your toes, knees are bent. Breathe, you can relax your head. Maybe straighten your legs here. And come down. Slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. 
hands to your hips. Continuing with your feet and ankle, balance back and forth. Come up on your toes. You can have your arms out in front. Make sure you're still breathing here. And come down from here. Take your right foot back, the top of the foot into the floor. This is more intense, so don't overdo it. You probably feel this in the front of your ankle, the top of the foot. Do other side, so same time. Same thing, left, foot back, press. And you can shake it out. Coming to the top of your mat. Take a big step back with your right foot. So coming to warrior one, so feet are about hip width apart here. Front knee if you can, 90 degree. Interlace your hands behind your back, straighten your arms, shoulder blades together. Open your heart, breathe. From here, come to humble warrior. Inhale and exhale, come forward. And place your left shoulder on your left knee or on the inside of the knee. Relax your head and arms come up and over. Breathe. With your torso, turn your right shoulder up. Arms are still straight. You can stay there or extend your arms overhead. Breathe. Come all the way up, setting up warrior two. You may have to widen your stand. 90 degree with the front knee again. Front heel aligned with back arch. Strong arms, shoulders over hips. And maybe look over. Four corners of your feet into the floor. Inhale, exhale to reverse warrior. Keep your left knee where it is. Open up your left side of the ribcage. Inhale, come up. Extended side angle. The variation you can have your forearm on your thigh. Other arm up, if you want your hand on the inside. From here, if you want, take your right arm behind you and see if you can grab a hold of your inner thigh. Left inner thigh, look up if your neck is okay. And come all the way up, turning to the front of the mat. Hip width again. So high lunge. So back heel is off the floor. From here, you're going to grab a hold of the left ankle. So when you're here, you can feel every muscle in your ankle usually moving. Things we don't think about normally. All we're suggesting here. and see if you can come forward, knees together, maybe right foot off the floor. If not, put your toes on the floor, the right foot. Maybe even extend your right leg back, point your toes. Not easy, so don't worry if it doesn't work. Feet together, 
And chair pose. Sit back, weight is towards your heels. Breathe, maybe come lower. Palms in front of your heart center, spinal twist to the right side. So upper left arm is on the outside of your right thigh. Look down. See if you can lift your right foot. Knees are together. If it doesn't work, just keep your toes on the floor. And when you're breathing, stay there or maybe extend your left leg. Where your mind is, if this is difficult, be nice and kind to yourself. And come back. Chair pose. Fold in half. Halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Arms over, palms together. And hands in front of your heart center. Good job. Same thing, other side. I'm just gonna move so you can see it better. So this time, left foot all the way back, setting up, warrior one. Right to the front, keep your parallel, that 90 degree angle with your right knee, and then interlace your hands. Straighten your arms, shoulder blades together, heart to the ceiling. Breathe. Exhale, come forward, humble warrior. Right shoulder on your right knee, or right shoulder on the inside. Relax your head and press your arms over your head. torso again. Stay there or extend your arms out over your head. Breathing. All the way up. Set up warrior two. And look over your right hand. To the earth. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior. Mindful of your right knee again. Stay, don't move it. Inhale, exhale, your variation of extended side angle. You can even, if you have a block, you can even put your hand on the block here. Stay there. Then take your left arm behind you, grabbing a hold of your right inner thigh. One more breath here. And slowly come up. Turn to the front of the mat again. Feet hip width apart, back heel off the floor. So in here, high lunge. Lean forward and grab a hold of the ankle again. So this time the right ankle. Engage your core muscle. And see if you can come forward with your left leg, knees together, bending right knee. Maybe extend back. So if it's too much, you can always put your hands on the floor too. Let's see what works for you. Or perfect wherever you are. And feet together. Sit down in your chair. So you should be able to see your toes. You can even wiggle them here. Engage your core. 
twist it a little deeper. Palms in front of your heart center and twist to the left side. Looking down, next balancing. So this time, right foot off the floor. Knees are together, you're breathing. If it's too much, place your right toes on the floor. And if you want to go further, extend your right leg behind you. Again, you can put your hands on the floor. There's so many variations. Just see what works for you today. And then feet together. Chair. Deeper. Fold in half. Come halfway up, fingertips on the floor, or hands on your shin bones, and fold, reach all the way up, and palms in front of your heart center, and then arms out, stay here, close your eyes if it's comfortable. Slowing down your heart if you need to. Checking in with your body and your mind. And ask yourself, what do I need right now? Send some loving and kind thoughts your body, especially your ankles, your feet, and open your eyes if they're closed, inhale, and exhale. From here, we are coming down, feet about a little bit wider than your hips, toes point out, palms in front of your heart center, see if you can come down and up let's do this a few more times next time you're down sit down here so elbows on the inside pressing out knees pressing in if your heels don't come to the floor you can use a mat roll it and then put your heels on that part another option if you have a block you can sit here, wherever you are, find stillness. Long, straight, nice spine. Two more breaths here. Tap up your feet. Some core work. Forearm plank today. So forearms on the floor, about shoulder width apart, knees on the floor. And then walk your feet back. Pack your toes. Engage your core. If you want to stay here, you can do that. If it's too much, place your knees on the floor. If you want to go further, take your right knee up, back. And then left. Let's go from side to side. The whole time breathing, not holding your breath. You can do this. Two more times each side. And then knee up. If it's up, hold it. Breathe. Other side, hold it. And back, both knees to the floor. Walk your hands forward, chest to the floor, melt down, forehead to the floor. You're very flexible. You may even have your chin on the floor. Look forward instead. You want to try to have your hips over your knees here. Connect with Earth. And 
slowly walk your hands in. Sitting down. So this time you are tucking your toes. You're working your balls of the feet, not the tippy toes. So really, if you have to use your hands, you can do that too. It's another pose I know for some of you may not be comfortable at all. If it's too much, just get out of it and you know tap your the tops of the feet usually help. And from here, arms up. Take your right arm under the left. Come into eagle arms. So press your palms together here. Working your shoulders, your hands, and your feet. Shoulders over your hips. Breathe. This is a hard pose. See where your mind takes you. Just observe, no judgment. And let go of your hands, your arms, check it out. Tap your feet. Coming up again, tuck your toes, use your hands if you need to. And this time, Taking the left arm first. Press your palms together. Four more breaths. Let go of your arms, shake them out, and tap your feet. Awesome work. Seating down, you did spinal twist. So right knee forward, and then left leg over. Both sitting bones on the floor. If this doesn't happen, you can always extend your right leg, flex your right foot. So here or here. Take your left, uh, your right hand on the outside of your left knee. Press in slightly, or you can even wrap your whole elbow around here. Inhale and exhale. Twist to the left side. Sitting tall. Breathing. digestive system the massage here. Come forward. Left leg out, straight leg. If you need to, you can bend your knees, otherwise straight. Hips forward. Inhale and exhale, heart to the front. Stay there for a few breaths. And if this is enough, you can stay there. Otherwise, relax your head around your back. If you have a back problem, you can keep your spine straight and stay up here or arms in front of you. Slowly come up. So this time, left knee first, right leg over. Both sitting bones on the floor. You have the other variation. Left leg straight, flex your left foot. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right side. Imagine you're getting taller for each inhale. Pulling you up to the crown of your head. May 
maybe twist a little deeper with each exhale. And after a few breaths, you can even get deeper into the pose. You don't twist too far in the beginning the body usually opens up for you and then you can get deeper. Inhale, exhale, come forward. And this time, extend your right leg, hips are to the front again. Inhale, exhale, heart to the front. Take a few breaths there. And if you want to take the pose further, come all the way down. slowly come up wide legs so if you need take a blanket or something and prop yourself up so again you want that forward tilt here straighten your legs flex your feet maybe you stay with your arms behind you and press forward gently if you're more flexible, you can have your hands in the front or walk your hands as far forward as it is comfortable for you. Working those hips, just relax wherever you are. Flex your feet so you're working your ankles, your feet at the same time. Imagine all your tight muscles if you have any completely relaxing and use the mantra relax and just say it to yourself over and over two more breaths here and slowly walk yourself up and use your legs as windshield wipers and some more ankle work hero pose so take your calf muscle to the sides do you want to have both sitting bones on the floor and then if you need something under your ankles you can do this if this is not available for you have knee problems whatever you can sit on your heels instead take a few breaths here and if you want to try and get it any further you can come down to your forearms or maybe all the way down if you're sitting on your heels you can open your heart here instead so the bits together Look forward or let your head hang back. And again, just marinate in this pose wherever you are. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Don't think you have to do anything special. Just find your edge of the pose. That's all that matters. Two more breaths here. And if you're all the way down, forearms to the floor, press yourself up, and maybe walking down dog a few times. Knees to the floor and come over. Knees into the chest and sway from side to side. Stop in the middle. And just let gravity do its job. Next 
one fish pose. So extend your legs out, arms long, palms facing down, and see if you can tuck your arms under yourself so your thumbs are kind of touching here. Feet are together, point your toes. Inhale and exhale, come up on your forearms, look at your toes. From here, shoulder blades together so you open your heart. And see if you can take your head to the floor or maybe to the floor. This is a great heart opener. Especially if you're in front of the computer all day. So the weight is on your forearms, not your head. See how much easier it is to breathe when the heart is open and when you're hunching your shoulders more. Come out of this pose. Inhale, exhale, head up. Look at your toes. Toes of the feet to the floor and arms out. Happy baby. Take off the floor and grab a hold of the outside of your feet. You're trying to get that angle from the knee to the ankle straight. You may not be there today. Don't worry about it. And then the whole spine and sacrum is on the floor. Press down. Stay in stillness, or if you prefer, walk from side to side. A few more breaths here. going to do some eye exercises. Another thing we usually don't do a lot. But when we get older, our eyesight usually goes too. Like everything else, you have patterns, how you think, you look at a certain way, your body moves a certain way. So it's good to do some eye exercise. So uh, you can really use your muscles differently. And uh, Shivananda, also say the quickest way to fight your mind is through your eyes and another i'm gonna look at my notes here so i say it correctly so it is 40 percent of all nerve fibers connected to the brain are linked to the retina that's a lot 40 percent of all nerve fibers connected to the brain are linked to the retina. So that's why we need to keep close your eyes when you sleep and quiet your mind more if you have your eyes closed. So again, we're working your eye muscles not only to get them stronger, but to quiet our mind. You can just sit comfortable cross leg maybe. From here, I'm going to look up and look down, up, down. So your head is still, you just move your eyes. Up, down, you do it in your own pace. And then close your eyes. And open them. This time we're moving from right, left, right, left. So let's get started. Then move them in your own pace. Head is still, eyes, the only thing that's moving. And close your eyes. Rub your palms together, create some heat, and 
and then cup your hands over your eyes. Breathe in your eyes. of your hands. This time we are going from the upper right corner diagonal to the left lower corner. So kind of two o'clock to five o'clock. Let's start. Close your eyes. It can be difficult sometimes not to move in your head when you do this. It automatically feels like I want to move my head sometimes. So we have the other diagonal starting from the upper left to the lower right. Let's open your eyes and do it. So upper, lower, diagonal. Close your eyes. Rub your palms together again. Cup your palms over your eyes. Feel the warm energy moving around here. Relaxing your eyes. breathing in and out through your nose. Let's take it deeper in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. One more time. And this time when you exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you, any tension you have left in your body. Inhale and exhale. And come down, final relaxation, corpse pose, it's about hip width apart, let your toes hang out to the side, arms about 45 degree from the body, palms facing up, slightly tucked, close your eyes here. Breathing in and out through your nose. Don't force anything. Everything is perfect. Just the way it is. Starting to deepen, lengthen your breath, and bring your awareness back to your physical body. And start moving your toes, your fingers.
and press yourself to the right side, arms overhead, and rest your head on the right upper arm. And with your eyes still closed, if it's comfortable, not too seated position, maybe cross leg, with your hands in uh, on your knees, looking up and down. Or place your hands in the lap. Set an intention for the practice today in the beginning. Let's revisit it. Take a moment and thank yourself for being here today. Taking the time for yourself will benefit everyone around you and has a ripple effect throughout the world. And then palms together in front of your heart center. Call Anjali Mudra. This hand gesture, having your palms together. When we do that, in gratitude, it signifies honoring, and it's based on the ID. This is the lotus flower with the petals folded together. And the lotus represents your heart. We draw our prayers from the depth of our hearts out into the world where we can actualize them. We send gratitude to our practice and to honor our heart's intention. Thank you so much for being here with me today and sharing your practice. Namaste. Bow your head to seal your practice.